There's a lot of anime out there, meaning there's a lot of things I want to talk about, but there's also things that I don't want to talk about. Over these past 5 years I have received multiple requests and unfortunately I don't think you will ever see any of them in the next 5 years or maybe 10 years. As said before, doing requests would help increase my knowledge of other shows outside of my comfort zone, but this eventually created a lack of identity for myself. Now I know who I am, so I feel more passionate about talking something I like, and hopefully others will feel the same. There are some anime that I reviewed that I didn't fully enjoy, but I am trying my hardest to give an honest critique, but you can tell the usual creative energy isn't in the video. This is definitely something I want to improve in the future, when it comes to series I didn't have much of an interest in. For example, yes, I've seen One Punch Man, I've read both versions of One Punch Man, but I don't feel like reviewing it because I don't think I can add anything new to the table, or at least my brain is not coming up with anything clever. This anime is oversaturated where just about any review repeats the same information, to the point where it's becoming common knowledge and no longer being interesting trivia. I speak more details in my second podcast and in my topic video of One Punch Man. I'm not gonna force myself to make a video with my heart not being in it. This is why there's hardly any modern shows on my channel for a few piqued my interest. I can tell you for sure that my favorite modern anime has been Kill a Kill, while others have been so-so for me. So this same reason is why requests take so long to make, along with something else. I'm passionate about another thing, but lately I've been feeling mostly content with what I've seen. People have been recommending me some manly anime, manga, or manhwa, but I developed a lack of interest recently. Part of this is because there's a lot of series i never actually done reviews for. Despite liking Gold 13, I have not done a single video review for this series. The same goes for Lupin the Third, Space Adventure Cobra, The Dirty Pair, Toriko, Gintama, Koko Bancho, and so on and so on. I want to get these things done before I start doing a lot of requests, for they take time because I gotta read and watch things. It's best to do things at your own pace regardless how many times people in the comments tell you to do it. Just stick with what you're doing and worry about the rest later. Yes, I do feel obligated to do requests, but unfortunately there's too many things to keep track of. I'm gonna take things one step at a time and eventually get that list of requests done. I just don't know when will it happen. In 2020? 2030? In 2040? Maybe the year 2100? Some of you might be wondering if you want to be serious with your uploads and why do you waste time making dumb videos? Partly because they remind me when I did YouTube for fun when there wasn't a worry for copyright or some other bullshit. Also, these types of videos always make more views than the ones I put effort in. So, what are my plans for the rest of 2016? Obviously, the one manly list, the anime topic videos, the reviews, but I want to venture into new territory. At the beginning, I mentioned Sonic Music, but I also like to talk about Sonic Music individually, and same thing goes for anime. Back then, I used to have this segment where I would put different songs together, but it would be better to actually comment on why I like the track. Currently, the new feature has been the podcast since I talk a lot with my friends, and some conversations are humorous and informative. This way you can learn various new things without actually having to watch a review talking about one show. Or maybe there will be podcasts solely on one series which I normally wouldn't talk about. I'm not sure what type of schedule these videos would have, whether it will be a bi-weekly, weekly, or monthly basis. It's more like whenever I feel like it, I guess. It also depends on what I'm working on at the time especially when I also edit the videos on the anime collab channel, The Phantom Group, which used to be The Green Clan. Not to mention my other channel, which will solely be for manga reviews, anime news, and some topic videos. I think I will continue the analysis of Fist of North Star manga at some point, and other things relating to Adoku Juku, Jojo, and Kaneko Man on that channel. I'm trying to keep that backup channel copyright free, just in case anything happens with my main one. In the future, you'll see more top 5 and top 10 anime lists consisting of a particular genre of anime or lists of specific types of characters. Once I get this silly top 10 list out of the way, you will see a top 5 you're really gonna enjoy. There's one thing that I'm more passionate about than making anime videos, and that is creating my own series, Deadly Hearts. It's basically an anime influenced story that I want to create. I have shared some ideas on Skype calls with friends, but I also released some images and audio teaser of the pilot chapter. Honestly, I had this dream for over 10 years now, and ideas have been brewing in my head since middle school. Given how life has been treating me lately, I feel I had to create the story now, despite only being a later portion of the overall series. Basically, it's structured the same way as Joseph Bizarre Adventure that is divided into parts. The story that I want to work on is mostly a side story to part 7 out of 8 or 9 parts. 
so I might be working on parts 1 and 7 simultaneously. I started thinking about taking my dream seriously after I saw a review from the channel Rebel Taxi, driven by Pan Pizza. You see, James's main goal in life was to make horror movies, but these reviews became both his living and claim to fame. How a fucking piece of dog shit! That's his job. He's got a family to support. The nerd doesn't have as much time as he used to for pursuing much else. The Rob the Robot video, now that one took 122 and a half hours. It's gotten me thinking, what if I'm stuck making cartoon reviews and top 10s instead of actually making cartoons? Why don't I just give up on my ambitions and become a Let's Player? So, that obviously got me thinking, do I want to spend the rest of my life making anime reviews or how about actually making my own series? Hence the Deadly Hearts. I am not exaggerating when I say I have over 10 years worth of material. I'm talking about sketchbooks, binders, Microsoft Word documents that I kept since high school. Lately I've been staying up till 5 or even 6 in the morning wondering where did my time go? I can not fall asleep easily knowing that I should be doing something with my life. Yeah, I have a job with my dad and I still live with my family of sisters and mom while being 25 and no girlfriend. But then again, I wouldn't want a girlfriend when I don't even have my own place. I'm not gonna banger in my parents' house, it's too embarrassing. My social life has been shitty with very little interaction outside of work. Both of my friends who I've known since elementary have either moved to another city or keep getting into trouble with the law. So basically, I don't have any friends, much less a girlfriend. I don't mind admitting these types of things for keeping these thoughts inside and thinking about embarrassment or judgment. It's not gonna do me any good. My family has gone through enough shit as it is and I'd rather not worry about pointless things. So in my spare time, I commit myself to YouTube and want to spend the rest of my time working on Deadly Hearts. Over the years, anime has become more accessible to the point where various animated series are becoming more like anime. How many anime fans are into Steven Universe, Avatar The Last Airbender, and Undertale? I wish to blur the line between nations just how France did with their shows. Series like Totally Spies, Ko Lyoko are obviously trying to be like anime. Actually, the so-called anime art style has become way more prominent in various animation. So I want to make the distinction between anime and manga not as obvious, or basically turn it into a hybrid genre, where something will be called Deadly Hearts, the anime tit series. I'm not saying all those low points about myself for you guys to feel sorry for me or something, but I'm doing this as a video journal to see what happens in the next 5 years. Also, I want to share these things as an example about a single, Hispanic man trying to achieve his dreams, even when things are looking bad. So here's to another 5 years, I'm the anime hero or the manly anime hero, but I always review anime so you can enjoy it. This took me 11 pages and over 5,000 words to write, plus some ad-libbing.